Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to Edging Life. In the therapeutic community or the psychological world, we there are two types of trauma. Trauma with a big T and trauma with little T. The big T traumas are things such as a massive plane accident or a tsunami, um, a car crash, things that you would expect might have some mental and visceral ramifications of psyche. Then there are a bunch of little things that can add up for an individual referred to as small t traumas that when the holding cup, so to speak, gets too full, it will overflow and create not only um, medical conditions, but psychological issues and relational issues and stress, depression, anxiety, etc. So little t traumas are unique to each individual depending on what might affect somebody more and um, cause an adverse reaction to person A. One particular event of small t type trauma may be a huge ordeal along with a one and a two and a three and a four of similar thread related, not small t type of trauma, but to person B that that same those same things will have absolutely no effect on that individual's psyche. What the therapeutic community or just people in general in the American culture doesn't, what we don't address is that there are ways to prevent the accumulation of this small t trauma. In the United States, we listen with a fine ear and attune to the ways that our car sounds. If it, or it feels, if it feels bumpy or the brake pads don't feel good or you notice the pistons might be working harder on a particular day, what do you do? You take it to the mechanic or you fix it yourself and you get the problem taken care of. No big deal. This is how the Chinese view and treat their bodies. They listen to the wisdom of their bodies with a fine tooth sensation and ear. And I don't even know where that expression comes from, a fine tooth comb. That's kind of weird. Anyway, this is another thing. On a side note, be careful of just using these go-to phrases of, that somebody else has designed. They're really not representative of what you're trying to say and furthermore i think you could be a lot more creative for your unique situation in and of itself but okay close parentheses that was a tangent um back to the way that we treat our our bodies and our minds with respect to the small t trauma it's important to not only tune in as the chinese eastern philosophies do but to create space in order for it to not overflow the cups. And this is what we're not taught. Uh, we wait for it to build and then overflow. But even aside from noticing um, any changes or subtlet subtlety differences, this isn't meditation and this isn't what I'm about to share isn't um, really anything major other than creating 10 minutes a day to spend with yourself, not doing anything except for deep breathing, breathing deep into your body and connecting with your body with abdominal breaths, not keeping it short. Yes, our breath is involuntary, but this is actually voluntary breath. You're bringing it really deep into your gut, into your enteric nervous system, into connecting with the spaces in your body that we often don't give ourselves the time to do. And when you create this opportunity for your mind and your body to connect, and just 10 minutes on creating that space to 
eliminate and or um, weave together the mind and body with respect to possible small t buildups of that day that you don't even realize are building up, you prevent that cup, that emotional cup from overflowing. You're going to detour traumatic small t, you know, to the exponential number of buildup that will then become a trauma response. You're going to prevent that from ever happening because you're preventatively making the mind and body connections and allowing that space for it to breathe out on its own, for your body to let go of it, for your mind to maybe even become aware that something caused you a particular issue that day. We often go so quickly and so fast that we don't realize something has actually bothered us or that it has affected us. And you don't have to lay down for 10 minutes or sit down and consciously think through your day and did something bother me today or did, you know, does my right arm feel okay or this, that, and the other. Just breathe deeply and your body and your mind will reveal to you all on its own if there's anything to focus on or to be let go of. In the wild, animals literally shake themselves out to release their stress when anything stressful happens. We, as humans, in particular in American culture, we don't allow for these opportunities for our minds and bodies to really let go. We just keep holding and holding and holding day after day, day after day, same routine over and over again. And, you know, then by default, it just gets too much. So prevent the too much by focusing on the preventative.